What is up guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a Sammy Virgie style bass sound in Vital. This is what we're gonna to create today. Ready? Let's jump straight into the project. Okay, so we start by loading up Vital. This is the MIDI pattern that I'm gonna use for this tutorial. You can just copy it if you want to. So we're gonna to go to oscillator one and we're gonna select the harmonic series. Then we're gonna pitch this up by 24 semitones. We're gonna turn this level all the way down because we're gonna use this oscillator to modulate the oscillator two with some FM modulation. Then we're gonna enable oscillator two. We're also gonna go for the harmonic series and then we're gonna go and navigate to the phase over here. And we're gonna click this button and then we're gonna choose FM from oscillator one. Turn this down and we can turn up the volume a little bit and we want to select the filter routing to filter one. Okay, then we're going to go to oscillator three and select the basic shapes. And this is basically going to act as our sub bass oscillator. So we're going to route this to direct out. So not going through the filter and we're just going to leave it as is. Next, we're going to go to the filtering and we're going to select the analog 24 dB and put the cut off to around here and turn down the resonance to around here. Then we're gonna have a sound like this. Nothing really interesting, but we need to do some modulation. So we're gonna go and navigate to first the envelope one. This is our amplitude envelope. We're gonna create a little bit more of a tag. So put this to around here and a little bit more decay and turn down the sustain to around here and a little bit of release. And now the fun part starts. We're gonna to go to envelope two. We're gonna make this shape really, really short. So something like this, a little bit more release. And we're gonna modulate the frequency modulation of oscillator one with the envelope two. So we're gonna click here and we're gonna assign it to this knob. And we're gonna turn down the amount to around here. So we should, should start to get something like this. Take. We could put the attack down a little bit here of on envelope one. Okay, and then we're gonna assign envelope two to the filter cutoff as well. So we get like this really like nice dunk bass kind of sound. Gonna turn down the envelope amount a little bit of envelope two to around here. And it sounds really nice when it's going like one octave up in the MIDI pattern. We could actually turn this up a little bit here, the FM modulation. Maybe push up the, have the envelope amount around here. That's much better. Okay, so now we're ready to go to the effects. And I really like to add some distortion, some soft clipping distortion. So I'm gonna turn the drive up to around here, and then I'm gonna dial it back with the mix to around here. So we get a little bit more of like a distorted sound. Really nice. I can actually also turn up the master volume a little bit. And next I would add an EQ. I will do like a low shelving boost at around three dB, and then do like a really not so sharp slope. And I'm actually gonna do the same thing with the, the high end. So I'm also gonna do a high shelf. So we boost that around maybe two dB and then dialing back the cutoff to around here. So we also boost that upper like harmonic frequencies that we added to the sound with the FM modulation. Really nice. So one extra cool thing that we can do to this sound is that we can actually create that kind of wobby uh, bass sound that I used a lot in UK Garage. And basically what we can do is that we can take one of the macro knobs and then we're basically just gonna assign this to the attack of envelope two. This is the envelope that's controlling the filter cutoff and also the FM modulation. And we're gonna have maybe something like this with the amount. And then we can also assign this macro knob to the 
think like the resonance of the cutoff just to add a little bit more like resonance to the cutoff and we could actually also add a little bit to the decay of envelope 2 something like this so if we play the sound and i turn up this macro you might hear that it's adding like that warpy kind of sound And you really just need to try to play around with the attack level of this attack knob to get the sound that you want. So if you want to have like a lot of like attack to the, that warpy sound, you can just increase it. I think around here is pretty nice. So this is a great knob to have if you want to modulate the bass throughout your track. So that could be like going from an A part of the drop to a B part. You could actually just modulate this, uh, automate this knob and just turn it up so you get like a completely different bass sound. Really nice. So that's actually it for the sound design within Vital. But if you want to take this one step further, you can actually go and apply some extra processing to this bass sound. So I have routed this Vital bass sound to a mixer track in FL Studio. So the first plugin that I add is the Tal Chorus. It's, I think it's emulating the, the Juno chorus. Sounds like this. And it's basically just adding a little bit of extra width to the sound and a little bit of volume also, but that doesn't matter. Sounds pretty nice. Next, I have added the Guitar Rig 6, but that's mainly because I have this compressor component within Guitar Rig 6 that just adds a little bit of extra transient to the bass line. That's one thing that you should be really, really careful is that when you're doing these kind of sounds, don't go into the reds because you're going to introduce some digital clipping and that can be a little bit annoying if you're not going for that sound. Okay, so if we go back to the mixer channel, after the compressor, I have added the Oso 9 imager. This is basically just to control the low end. So I'm doing a frequency band split up here at around 150 hertz. So everything below 150 hertz is just being put to completely mono. And this is what's happening here. And that's actually the only thing that this plugin does. And it's just to make sure, because we added the chorus effect, I don't want to have any like stereo effect going on in the low end. And then Soothe right here is actually just for some side chaining purposes to side chain the bass line to the kick drum. I have actually made a video explaining that. You can watch that by clicking the link up here or up here. <laughs> okay, and then I actually wanted to add a little bit of extra crispiness to this bass line. So I have sent up a delay uh, send channel. So I'm routing the bass line into this delay send channel. We have added the fruity free delay and an EQ just to roll, up, roll off any unwanted low end, a little bit of the high end. And this is what we get. And that's just because I'm a sucker for those like delays on bass lines. I think it adds like some space and some rhythm to the bass line. So if you want to get your hands on this preset, you can get it on my membership site. You can check it out via the link in the description down below. Okay, so I've actually made a small beat idea. So you can hear this bass line in the context with some drums and some synth. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs> I think it sounds pretty nice to be honest okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it it means so much to me if you would smash that like button or even subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any future videos on this channel i've also launched a discord server for producers it's a place where we can share our track ideas get feedback provide feedback generally just a cool place to hang out and talk about music and stuff and i really want you to get involved if you want to you can join the discord via the link in the description down below if you want to support this channel even further you can go and browse some of my sample packs and preset pack on my web shop the link is in the description down below so I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.